My first trip here to uh, the Abacos was in 2003. I feel very privileged to have the opportunity to do original exploration in the 21st century. Probably around 20 to 30,000 feet of passage here. Uh, and go places that no one's been before, see things that no other human has ever seen. To be able to swim around a corner not knowing what's there, what you're going to find. Um, sometimes maybe nothing, but unless you go, you'll never know. So that, really that motivation just to work out um, this complex three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle that is hidden beneath our feet and it's such a unique and amazing and beautiful world. And the more I dive here, the more I explore, the more I appreciate it and realize how lucky I am to be able to do this. Both exploration and cave survey are, are truly are the basis of research diving. I mean, the scientists have no idea what's there until we tell them, until we explain to them what is actually there. And then they can go in and begin all the other ologies, um, you know, figuring out uh, why the cave is there and, and uh, what lives there and, and what, you need, what unique properties that cave might have for humans or for uh, other life. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, um, there's, there's nothing like these caves anywhere in the world. I moved here about 12 years ago. Swam through 50,000 feet so far, I think. Uh, explored maybe close to half of that, I think. Abaco is amazing. It's, it's this perfect place where we have a perfect environment for what I'm trying to do here now with uh, cave research, cave exploration, and then running the commercial side as well.